Some of the best characters in popular anime and manga today have really fantastic weapons. Weapons that not only help them in the story, but also look super cool. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can design unique and interesting weapons in your mangas, comics, or light novels and make them stand out from the crowd and be believable in the world of your book. designing weapons in your story, I think one of the most important things to first think about is the various types of weapons because every weapon, even unique and interesting weapons and stories, will always be based off a basic type of weapon and by understanding the basic types of weapons, it can help you to build on that basic template and create a weapon that is new and unique. So let's first discuss some of the most common base weapon types and how you can build on those weapon types to create something new. The primary weapon types you will usually see will be melee weapons, which will be swords, axes, daggers or spears, anything that can be wielded by hand. Then you have ranged weapons, which are things like guns, rifles, bows and arrows or javelins, things that should be thrown or shot from a range. Then you have magic weapons, which might be a staff, a wand, or grimoire, or anything that is magic ranged type of weaponry. Some weapons you will see in popular anime and manga might be a combination of multiple types of these weapon types, but you will commonly see that most weapons out there will be based off these main weapon types. Keep in mind that your character might use these different weapon types depending on who they are and what they really need the weapon for, so when you're creating a weapon for a story, it's important to consider what type of character is using it and how they might need to use that weapon in their lives. For example, your elf characters in your story might all wield bows and arrows, and so if your character is an elf character, they may be likely to be trained in that type of skill, or they may be the type of character who wants to go a bit outside of that and try something different. If your character needs to travel long distances, they would likely need a weapon that would be easy to carry around, so it would be unlikely that they would carry around a bulky weapon, unless of course that bulky weapon had a functionality that could make it smaller and easy to carry. If your character needs to fight in close range of others, a sword and a shield may be most effective. However, if your character needs to be more of a sniper and fight from a longer range, maybe a rifle would be better or a bow and arrow. So when you are considering the weapon types that you want to include in your book, consider the types of characters you have that might be wielding those weapons because you need to ensure that the weapon your character is wielding is most effective for that character and makes realistic sense in the world of your book. So now let's go further where I'll be talking about 7 tips to help improve the weapon design and create better weapons in your mangas, comics or light novels. My first tip is choose a base weapon. Now I briefly mentioned the types of weapons that you might want to look at when you are developing the weapons. However, what I really mean by this is I recommend you find a particular weapon type, whether it be a melee type of weapon or a ranged weapon or anything like that, and find a specific image or a specific type that you want to base your character's weapon around. By looking at an already existing type of weapon that is out there, whether it be in a fictional story or in real life, you can create something that is more realistic because you have based it off something that may already be truly used. Once you have decided on the type of base weapon, you can then go further and build on that, which may be through combining different types of weapons or just adding new functionalities that might not have already existed before. My second tip is put functionality and practicality first. One of the most important aspects you will find when developing fictional weapons in a book is that the functionality and practicality still needs to stay there. And so this is why I highly recommend you choose a base weapon first to ensure that the functionality stays because it can get a little unrealistic when your character is using a weapon that might not really make much sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense for the type of ammo they are using, or maybe it doesn't make sense for your character to be able to physically use it. Maybe the weapon is really bulky or heavy, and so there might be little things in the weapon itself that might not make realistic sense. So it's important that when you're designing a fictional weapon, you also need to consider, is it realistic? To ensure that the weapon is realistic for your character to use it in your book, think about how your character would use it. Imagine yourself in the place of your character and think about, if I were this character, how would I use this and would it actually work if I was trying to use it? And you may need to change certain things like the type of weapon it is, the shape of the weapon, the weight of the weapon, or even just the ammunition that your character is shooting if they are using a ranged weapon. My third tip is consider the time period your book is set in. Depending on time period, the weapons you design in your fictional world might be a little bit different, so it's really important to consider the time your story is set in and how that might affect what your character uses. 
If your story was set in the medieval era, for example, your character may be more likely to use swords or bows and arrows more than using a more futuristic weapon. Whereas if your character's story is set more in a future time, like a sci-fi type of world, your character would be more likely to use sci-fi weapons, or maybe they would be using futuristic looking guns or using futuristic types of ammo. So really consider what era your character is set in and consider because of that era what types of technologies might exist that can change the way your character might use weapons. My fourth tip is try combining weapon types to make your weapon more unique. In this tip, what I really mean is consider the functionalities of multiple weapon types and see if you can combine those aspects into creating a new weapon. For example, your character might use a sword. However, you could combine the sword with magic and maybe the sword is a magical sword that only appears when your character says a certain command or does a certain thing. In another example, maybe your character uses a crossbow. However, the crossbow is combined with magic, so instead of shooting regular arrows, the crossbow shoots magic arrows. There are various ways you can combine different weapon types, and I highly recommend you do this, especially if you're creating a fantasy story or a sci-fi story, where there may need to be more unique aspects with the weapons you're creating. So consider what types of weapons your character might use, and how you could combine those weapons to create something new. My fifth tip is ensure that each part of the weapon makes sense. When you add a certain aspect to the fictional weapons you're creating in your book, ensure that every part of it makes a lot of sense. In order to do this, it might help if you draw a diagram of the weapon you're creating in your story and draw labels to each part of it to ensure that each part makes sense in the context of the overall fictional weapon. This applies to any extras you add to the weapon, and while I think it's very cool to build on the base weapon and add extras, it's also highly important that you consider the functionality of all aspects of the fictional weapon you're creating, and what each part really means in the grand context of your character using it. My sixth tip is ensure that the weapon suits the character who is using it. When you're developing weapons in your story, also consider which character types might use each particular weapon. It can really help make your weapons more realistic if you consider what types of characters might use that particular weapon. For example, if your character is not very muscular or very strong in battle, they may be more suited to using a ranged weapon where they don't really have to get in the middle of the battle, but they can instead fight from the sidelines and still be quite safe while also still being able to use what they are well versed in. Or for example, if your character is a very small and dainty character, it might not make a lot of sense for them to wield a very heavy weapon that might take a lot of strength for them to wield. Unless, of course, that weapon is enchanted with magic and maybe a weapon that looks bulky might actually be very light to carry. So it's really important to consider every character type you have in your book and what types of weapons they might wield. Or when you're designing a weapon, consider what type of character you are creating for them to be carrying that weapon. This can help it make more sense when you're showing your character in fighting scenes or using that weapon at various moments in your book, and it can help it make more sense in the grand context of your book overall. The seventh tip is consider transport, safety, and movement in the design. When you're creating a weapon for your characters to use, it's also important to consider how that character would move around with it. How would they safely transport it, or how would they keep it when they are not currently in battle? If you add a strap to your weapon, for example, your character may be able to carry it on their back with more ease. Maybe there's another way that they can shrink or condense the weapon if it's a really bulky weapon so that they can more easily carry it. A really bulky weapon may be able to be condensed to the size of something really small, for example, something that they could put in their pocket. If your character has a simple sword and shield, they would likely have a sheath for the sword that they can keep the sword in and they might have a way that they can carry the shield on their arm. So when you're creating any fictional weapons, also consider how your character might go about carrying it around and what they can do to keep safe when they are either in battle or when they are not in battle and they just want to transport the weapon safely. Thank you so much for watching my video today everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know about the types of weapons you're designing in your stories because I'd love to hear about them. Feel free to chat with me on any of my social media at Midnight's Cross because I always enjoy hearing about the projects that you're creating. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!